Alright, this is Al from YouTube. What I did is I just went ahead and I, I threw out some of my guns. i um, been telling some people, you know, I'd put one on there, just some of the guns that I have. Um, this first one here, this is my uh, 204 Ruger here. Um, really nice little gun here. Um, I don't really care for it for the most part, but it's not a bad looking gun. It's got a BSA scope on it, um, mill dot scope on it, and uh, seems to kind of do the job. And my second one up there is uh, my uh, 22250. Um, that one's just got a cheap 50 millimeter scope. I had it on hand when I uh, brought it up and uh, I just thought maybe I'd uh, I just put it on there for now um, it's going to get replaced with a mill dot scope uh, it's got the heavy bull barrel on it and uh, really nice looking gun uh, it's really good shooting gun I kind of bought this as a used gun from a friend and, uh, and got along good with it so uh, he had uh, good luck with it Okay, next one up with the wood stock here. Uh, right now, this has kind of got a really cheap scope on it. Come with a gun. Um, this is my newest purchase, uh, stainless steel barrel. This is uh, by uh, the 22250, I should say. This gun here. I'll go back to this for just a second. Uh, this one here is a Savage. Um, they have the BSA scope. Uh, the wood one up here is uh, my newest purchase. Um, just got this gun in the other day. Um, shoots really, really, really nice. Uh, this gun here is a uh, 220 Swift. Um, just an excellent shooting gun. Just a really nice shooting gun. Um, it's got the stainless steel barrel on it. Uh, just a beautiful stock on it. Um, for now I gotta get some different rings for it for this Ruger um, so I just left the cheap scope on it for right now um, but it's got the stainless steel barrel on it just got done shooting this gun this morning and it shot r just excellent really 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 nice um, next gun up uh, is uh, well let's see can you remember Oh, this is my uh, Weatherby. I'm sorry. This is my Weatherby. Um, uh, it's got a 50 millimeter scope in it. Um, really a nice shooting gun. Um, been getting some reloads for doing some reloading on that gun. Um, just an excellent, excellent, excellent shooting rifle. Um, it's got a lot of weight. I mean, uh, if you want to take down a take down whatever you need to take down in North America I'll guarantee you one thing that gun will do it and uh, then some it's it's got a lot of whamming to her um, I was actually kind of shocked with as much firepower as it does have okay and we're gonna move on up uh, you've all seen my uh, I got some shooting ones up on this gun right here this is my uh, Ruger um, uh, P97 DC uh, 45 ACP uh, just a nice nice shooting gun um, a really nice shooting gun uh, another one over here I know there's a lot of bad feedback on these on these uh, guns here but uh, this is my daughter's favorite gun this is the 40 Smith & Wesson by High Points Firearms um, this gun here is really 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 good on uh, had a lot of bad feedback on some of these guns right here um, these high points um, they are just but uh, in my opinion the 40 Smith & Wesson is um, really really nice in the in the in the high points uh, next one over here, I got some shooting ones up at this one. Um, this is the, kind of bought this gun for a fixer-upper. This is the Titan II 
Um, this is the Titan II um, this is the Titan II uh, 380 ACP uh, it's a nice shooting little gun really nice shooting little gun I uh, kinda bought this gun for a fixer upper had a really bad clip in it and I still have it. I bought a clip and kinda screwed me over online on it but need to get another clip ordered on it but that is it, it's actually a pretty decent shooting gun I've, I've shot this gun at oh, probably 40 feet and hit really really nice so it's a nice nice little shooting gun I bought it for my daughter thought she'd like it she didn't and then uh, last but not least is uh, the 9mm by High Points Firearms um, there's a lot of bad feedback on this gun and in my opinion um, all the bad feedback that they get on the 9mm High Points is uh, absolutely true that, that gun is a piece of shit and uh, has a lot of jams I'm getting a lot of jams on these on this gun um, don't really like it at all on the 40 Smith and Wesson I've never had a jam on it it's worked really really well for me they said on the 9 millimeter here that these guns here are you know you can find a good one and you can find a lot of bad ones so didn't really put up a whole lot more on uh, didn't put up a whole lot more on uh, I ain't going to drag out all the black powder and my bows and all that stuff, but uh, got a few more guns coming. Um, you know, I got a ticked off wife, so you can imagine that uh, I got plenty of guns um, and stuff. She's not very happy about it, but uh, she gets over it. She'll get over it. So. Um, like I said, I'm just, uh, thought I'd get some of these guns out, give you guys a holler there on YouTube, say thanks, and I, uh, got some new stuff coming, and, and just thought I'd throw a gun one on, just what I, just what's laying around here, uh, I'm not gonna get out the black powder or anything like that on this one, um, got some, more stuff coming up though and uh, more guns getting ordered and bought and alright this one here is uh, some shots uh, this is was through my 45 um, shot really nice um, those are half inch grids on them so and uh, here's some um, 100 yards with a 250 trying to get it sighted in a little bit better um, let's see uh, there's a 9 millimeter there uh, like I said I'm not very happy with that gun so sometimes it jams sometimes it don't once again there's uh, shots I made through the 220 Swift um, these are 100 yards um, 10 to 23 mile an hour wind, guess up to 23. So it was pretty windy out there, and uh, kind of had a little crosswind there. And uh, these were the same thing, same as 100 yards. Uh, T20 Swift using factory loads, um, 55 grain factory loads.